let's look at the first part what to do before the start of the counseling process it is important to do the following try and find out how many candidates may come for the counseling on that day ensure that the tool is ready on the device for example the phone or laptop depending on the size of the audience decide whether you will give the candidates common instructions or one on one instructions before the start of the session while giving instructions in groups or one on one smile speak energetically and make the learners feel comfortable they may be worried or apprehensive about the program put their minds to ease take down all candidate details in the prescribed format that will be shared with you separately while giving them instructions please tell them the following points you're going to play a picture based game which will help identify your interest and personality and based on the results we will recommend specific job roles for you to work on once you start the game you will see many pictures which will be displayed one after the other you have to imagine yourself in that situation and then think if you were in that place would you enjoy doing that work enjoy being in that place you do not have to think if you are capable to do the job or will you get such a job just imagine you're doing it and decide whether you will like it or not if you think you will like it or enjoy it click on like if you think you will not like it or enjoy it click on dislike if you think you are not sure click on maybe if you do not understand or have any doubts stop and ask your counselor immediately after you have shared the above instructions ask them if they have any questions clear all their doubts wish them all the best and arrange for the candidates to play the game now let's look at part 2 of the counseling process that is your role when the candidate is playing the game once the candidate starts the game and if the number of candidates playing the game at the same time is high then all the designated counselors need to walk around to see if the candidates are facing any technical or understanding issues if the numbers are low then counselors can give individual attention to each candidate and help resolve their queries if any it is important to keep reminding them you do not have to think if you are capable to do the job or will you get such a job just imagine you are doing it and decide whether you will like it or not If the candidate has a doubt about the picture then it is important to just explain what is there in the picture and not add own perspective of the picture or the job role For example if they have a doubt about this picture a man looking through telescope you can just tell them a man is looking through the telescope to explore and know more about the stars planets etc we should not say it's a very interesting picture or 
It's fun to watch the stars and moon etc using a telescope. Usually astronomers do that and they get good jobs etc. Such statements will color their thoughts and they may accept or reject the picture due to bias. This may lead to inaccurate assignment of the candidate's Hollan code. If you find that the candidates are mostly clicking on the neutral option, that is maybe, check with them, ask them questions if there is any gap in understanding and then ask them to continue or if it is necessary, ask them to begin again. Once they complete the game, ensure that they have hit submit and a report is generated. Now let's move to part 3 of the counseling process. Your role after the completion of the game. Once the candidate has completed the game and they have hit the submit button, we can begin the counseling process. To do this, ensure that the report is generated and then the discussion can begin. Once again, before you start, make them feel comfortable. Ask them if they have enjoyed the game and if they are interested to know the results. Then explain the report one part at a time. While explaining the report, keep asking the learners if they have any questions and try and resolve it as much as possible. Once you have explained the report and the candidate is satisfied with the explanation, then a copy of the report can be shared with the candidates. The next step for the candidates can be explained as per the process defined for a particular project, center or region. So, these are the three important parts that you need to focus on. The whole idea is to make the candidates feel comfortable, help them play the game without any bias and help them with the recommended job roles so that they can take an informed decision about their career.